There I was quite happily building a P51B that I first made back in the 1980s. When I decided to buy on eBay uh, a, a bargain P51D. This one's a red tail. Um, and it's a battered box but uh, unopened kit inside. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Have a look how it um, is moulded these days. Well, the box contents are a bag full of plastic, a full colour, well, part colour set of instructions, and a really comprehensive little set of decals. There's all manner of little stencils and stuff on there. So let's start with the instructions. There we go, having a quick look. Well, there you go. Straight away... I can see that this is vastly more intricate than the offerings from 40 odd years ago. So this is your cockpit control panel. Uh, ooh, inside the tail, so there's some body stiffening on that. That's good, your propeller and your fuselage halves and your wing halves. So on the tail planes and so on. And the flaps are cut out as well, that's quite nice. That means you can alter them. All the little bits that go on the underside as well, the wheels, drop tanks and so on. So looks like it's quite a nice comprehensive little kit to build. And there's the, uh, the instructions for affixing all the decals. Loads of them going everywhere. That's pretty good. And here's the decals. So you've got your stars and bars, you've got your uh, cockpit layout, your control panel, instrument panel. All these little intricate stencils and so on. Bits for the, the Hamilton Standard propeller and all sorts. Yeah, that's going to be... <laughs> not going to be fun, it's going to be bloody annoying putting all those on. Anyway, they're there. Lollipoop 2. Starting with the transparency. So there's two hoods in there. That's probably because one is the higher bubbled version than the other there's only one um front part to the cockpit hood sadly there's a little reflector gun sight as well having two canopies is quite quite handy though because that means you can stick your grubby old fingerprints all over one and still have a spare now let's have a look all right straight away you can see this is a more modern kit so fairly deep but not too deep panel lines Lots of little bits and pieces cut out and so on. So moulds have obviously come on quite well over the years. You've got the um, framework for the canopy as well, which is quite good. Your tail um, rudder, should I say, comes out as well. Just cockpit half, turn it over. There's your pilot. There he is. And your cockpit half, you've got your exhaust stacks. Then over to here, yeah, we've got the fuselage halves, tail planes, some more flappery, um, little bits and pieces to attach. Tail wheel is way more intricate than the uh, early offerings. There's your drop tanks, four bladed Hamilton standard propeller, and uh, yeah, lots of bits. Now, this is more like that um, Spitfire Mark One that I got in a more recent boxing. This is, um, yeah, it's going to look quite nice. It's going to look quite nice quality. The wheels, so you've got tread pattern on the tyres there, so that's quite nice. You've got a lot more detail in the oleo legs. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, got a little bit of flash there on the, on the air intake. Generally speaking, though, there's not much flash. There's a little bit more on the fuselage half. But, yeah, so that's a nice... Looking kit, the cockpit has a little bit of detail molded in on the sides, which is quite nice. Not that you can really see it necessarily, but uh, oh, look at that control column! Cool. You don't want to pull that back with a lot of force, do you? And there's the inside cockpit. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a nice little kit to build.